Hey guys, I've been asked a lot of questions about the Philosopher's Stone and the Crystal Goblet from Nova Collection. So I thought I might do a little video to answer some of those questions and help you out by having a good look at both of these products. Um, I'm not very good at reviews. As you can probably tell, I prefer to base my videos on what I'm adding to my collection, not what I feel about each item of the collection. But we're going to give this a go. Alright, I'll start off with the Crystal Goblet. Obviously from Half Blood Prints. Um, it's made of resin, like the ones are, but with more of a translucent base. Um, you can see the end of it has parts cut to make it look like crystals. And it forms the cup goblet shape or the scoop that Harry uses for the potion. Um, on the base is painted to make it look like it's come from real rock. Um, it's also very weighty on the on the base of the goblet, so I actually prefer to hold that end. It's not the most comfortable thing to hold in your hand, but um, it's pretty cool. So the facets, and the fake crystal. There we go. Um, the ridges in the goblet um, are painted. It does look a little bit tacky, I will admit, but from a distance in a display case, it looks really awesome. Um, and on the base, some more ridges painted, as well as the writing and a warning do not use for drinking. Um, I thought I'd do the Noble Collection setup for you and add the locket. So, the locket, oops, and the chain. There you go. I actually got this goblet when I got my three new ones, Fenrir's, Slughorns and Narcissus, and that's why I never showed anyone, because it's more focused on my wand update, rather than letting everyone know that I also had the goblet as well. Okay, and onto the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, so it has a glass dome, and it is glass, not most bits or anything else, and I'm going to need two hands to take it off, so I'll put that down there. Yeah. You can sort of hear that against the metal screws. Okay, on the base it says the Sorcerer's Stone, so obviously this is from the US, as I'm Aussie I focus more on the UK version, so I call it the Philosopher's Stone. Um, it's like blue velvet lining, which is pretty swish, and I'm sure it's wood on the base. Um, it's held in by this little metal bracket, and on either end you can see there are two screws. Um, on the inside of the screws are little pads to hold the stone in place. So what you do, if I unscrew one of these and hold onto the stone, you can actually see it comes out. And that's what I'm getting a lot of questions about. So just like the goblet, I'm sure it's made of resin as well. Um, and it also has the painted parts to make it look like it came from stone. Um, it's also translucent. You can sort of see the red, reddish tinge to it, just like in the movie. And I have a torch here to show you just how translucent it is. But there you go. You can see the reddish and there's even sort of hints of green when it comes to the end the edges I should say so, turn it around from the hand. all right so there you have it one philosopher's stone and one crystal goblet. I hope that's helped you guys. Um, they're both awesome. Buy them if you can. I love them both. All three things really. So yeah. See you later guys.